Welcome back to day eight. And today I'm going to be taking you through an upper body workout. So the equipment that we're going to be using today are rucksacks, duffel bags, and bands. So I'm pretty sure the majority are going to have these pieces of equipment laying around the house. Um, if you're going to be using bands, use a light band and a medium resistant band. If you don't have a duffel bag, absolutely fine just to use the rucksack. Um, fill this with um, water bottles, uh, remember one litre equals one kilo, um, any old toys, uh, books, um, any old DVDs, anything you can think of that have resistance, place it in the bag. Okay, today's workout is going to be running on a superset protocol. So for those who don't know, superset is just one exercise followed directly by another. And today we're going to be focusing on the upper body. Okay, first two exercises are chest press and chest fly. So I'm going to demonstrate several different ways for you to do this. So for the chest press, you're going to take the medium resistance band. You're going to place it on your upper back, just like that. You're going to keep your wrist straight. Squeeze the band just a little bit. Feet shoulder width apart to give us a nice sturdy base. All you're going to do from here is extend the arms so today, we're going to be doing three sets of ten on each, just nice and easy. But what makes the, this difficult is the superset. So that's one way of doing the chest press. So if you don't have access to bands, what we need to do is a tempo press up. So two ways you can do this. So hands, shoulder width apart, make sure your shoulders are directly above your wrists. Extend your legs, and you'll be focusing on the negative. One, two, three. Press back up. That's the tempo I want you to use. If you struggle with press ups, extending your legs, so I want you to start just like this. Lower yourself down, drop your knees, and then press yourself back up. Another alternative to that is just to do it entirely on your knees. Okay, chest fly. So we're using the light band for this one. Now, Without the band, this is difficult to replicate, but what I would suggest is either a slightly wider press up or an incline or a decline press up, which I've gone through on previous videos. So if you want to know how to do those, just go back and have a look. So take the light band, again, the same setup, bring it over your head on your upper back. This time, your arms stay almost straight. You want a slight bend in the elbow. You're gonna meet your hands in the middle and then come back to that original position, just like this. Okay, those are the first two exercises. Remember, they are back to back. So do a set of 10 on chest press, whatever variation you want to, and then chest fly. Again, decline, incline press up, or if you have access to a band, do the variation with the band. Okay, next two exercises are gonna be a row and a face pull. So I'll demonstrate with the bands first. So you're going to take your medium resistance band, you're going to place it on your feet, just like this. Try and make sure it's not crossed over, so just take your time with the setup. Place your hands inside the loops, chest up, you always want to practice good posture, and you're going to pull the band towards you, just like that. And then for the Line. Again, same setup. Place it onto the feet. So with the fly, we need to make sure our knuckles against our ears and our elbows are pointing up and toward each of the walls and out. Just like so. Okay, so if you only have the bags available, this is what we need to do. So you see the handles on the rucksacks? And the shoulder straps. So you're gonna make the shoulder straps as short as they will go. And you're gonna hold both of the handles. And you're gonna need something sturdy to hold on to. So fill your bag up with as much as you can, but don't make it too difficult that you can't perform the full 10 repetitions. So place your hand on a sofa or any sturdy object you have, like a table, and then you're gonna row it up. 
So imagine, so arm is straight, and then you're going to take your fist to your pocket, just like that. You don't rotate the shoulders, don't let the shoulders drop. Okay, keep this posture. And then repeat the same on the other side. Now, if you have a duffel bag, you need to use is the handle on the side, so the exact same thing on the side, just like that. Okay, next two. Shoulder press and front raise. So I'm going to show you the back first. So again, take your rucksack, you can use the handle on the top. And place your hand underneath and grab the handle. So again, good posture. The bag is now by your side. Don't be afraid to adjust the weight per exercise. You don't have to keep the same load or the same resistance each time. If you do have plenty of objects to put in your bag, you can change it. Okay, so this position, you're going to press straight up control it down and then repeat that movement and then do the same on the other side. So if you do have bands, you can do a single arm variation, so take your medium or light band, one foot stepping into the band and again exactly the same setup as the rucksack, but this is going to be moving around more because it's more resistance. And then from there, press it straight up, control it down just like that, and then repeat on the other side. So the second exercise to that is a front raise. So demonstrate with the band first. You're gonna step into your band, arms straight, and you're gonna raise up, just like that. So your hand is completely in line with the shoulder. And then with the bag, again, take the shoulder straps, take hold of the shoulder straps, Exactly the same movement. Okay, and the final two to finish off. It's going to be a bicep curl for as many reps as you can, and then tricep extension for as many reps as you can. So, if you only have a bag, so exactly the same setup as the shoulder raise, but instead of lifting the shoulder completely up, you're going to bend at the elbow, just like that. And this will mimic a hammer curl with the cables. Again, as many reps as you can. Once you can't do any more reps, you're going to do some uh, tricep extension. So if you don't have the bands, you're going to go towards the edge of your sofa, walk your feet out, hands on the edge, you're going to take your bum off, lower yourself down. If you want a bit more of a challenge, extend the legs forward, come down and press back up. Now, if you do have bands, you're going to step inside of them again. Hands and the hand grip. And then you're going to curl up just like that. And then for a tricep extension, you bring this up and over your head and extend up just like that. And one more with the, with the bag. So there's actually another way you can do this with the bag. So grab all of the shoulder straps. Bring it round, hold the handles, and then extend it up, just like so. So I'm going to pop all these exercises and the way they should be done. So chest press, chest fly, row, baseball, shoulder press, front raise, bicep curl, and tricep extension or tricep dip. So those are all the ways you can do those exercises. For today, I want to do three sets of 10 on each. So there's different ways you can do this. So you can do chest press, 10 reps. You can do chest fly, 10 reps. Go straight back to the chest press, do 10. Until you've finished all 30 repetitions and then work your way down. That's one way of doing it. If you want to give yourself a little bit of rest in between. So for example, you do chest press, have 10, 20 seconds rest. Then go onto your chest prop, chest fly, again 10-20 seconds rest, go back onto the chest press, you can do it like that as well. Um, let me and Dad know how you get on, uh, but that's the upper body workout for today, easy work.